Today, we will be talking about population growth as an application of first-order differential equations. The growth rate of population is proportional to the population, where dp over dt refers to the change in population with respect to the change in time. k is the constant of proportionality, and p is the population. This first-order differential equation can be solved by separation of variables which will give us dp over p is equal to k times dt. Integrating both sides will give us ln of p is equal to k times t plus c. P will be equal to E raised to K times T plus C. P can be written as E raised to K times T times E raised to C. Which when simplified will give P is equal to C times E raised to k times t. We can denote p as a function of time by letting p of t denote the population at time t and p not as the initial population, which gives us the function p of t is equal to p not times e raised to k times t. Now, we will use this function to solve for problems involving population growth. For the first problem, a certain culture of bacteria doubles in 3 hours. Find the number of bacteria after 10 hours. We know at p of 3, that we have twice our initial population. Now we have to solve for k. To solve for k, we write 2 times the initial population equal to the initial population times e raised to k times t. We know at p of 3 that our t is 3. So e is raised to 3 times k. We can now cancel p naught from both sides will give which will give us 2 equal e raised to 3 times k. We have to take the ln of both sides which will give us 3k is equal to ln of 2. So, k is equal to one-third times the ln of 2. We are asked to find p of 10, which is equal to our initial population times e raised to k, which is equal to one third times the ln of 2 multiplied to the number of hours 10. So p of 10 is equal to 2 raised to 10 over 3 times the initial population, which means that. 10 hours, we have approximately 10 times the number of our initial population. Therefore, the number of bacteria after 10 hours is 10 times its initial population. For the second problem, the population of a certain place increased by 25%. 
from its population 5 years ago. What will be its population 2 years from now if the population 5 years ago was 10,568? You can pause this video to try the problem on your own. We know that at P of 5, we have 13,210 and our initial population is equal to 10,568. Now, we will find K. The population after 5 years is equal to 13,210 which is equal to the initial population 10,568 times E raised to the time T which is 5 years times K. Dividing both sides by 10,568 will give us 5 over 4 is equal to e raised to 5 times k. So k is equal to the ln of 5 over 4 times 1 over 5 which is also equal to 1 over 5 times the ln of 5 over 4. We are to find P of 2. To find P of 2, we will use 13,210 as our initial population. Now we will multiply by e raised to 2 times 1 over 5 times the ln of 5 over 4. So p of 2 is equal to 14,443. Therefore, the population will be 14,443 two years from now. For our third problem, if the population of a certain place doubles in 35 years, in how many years will the population triple in number? You can pause this video to try this problem on your own. We know that at P of 35, we have twice the initial population. Now we will solve for K. So, 2 times the initial population is equal to the initial population times E raised to the number of years which is 35 times K. We can cancel the initial population from both sides which leaves us with 2 is equal to E raised to 35K. So K is equal to 1 over 35 times the ln of 2. Now, we are to find T for which we have triple the initial population. So, 3 times the initial population is equal to the initial population times E raised to T times K, which is T over 35 times LN of 2. We can cancel the initial population 
from both sides which leaves us with 3 is equal to E raised to T over 35 times LN of 2 which is just 3 is equal to 2 raised to T over 35. So T is equal to the logarithm of 3 with base 2 times 35 which is just equal to approximately 55.5 therefore the population will triple in 55.5 years for our fourth and last problem if the population of a place doubles in four years and after two more years 15,000 25 is its population, what was the place initial population? We know that at P of 4, we have twice the initial population. And at P of 6, we have 15,025. Now, we will solve for K. To solve for k, we write 2 times the initial population is equal to the initial population times e raised to the number of years 4 times k. We can cancel the initial population from both sides which leaves us with e raised to 4k is equal to 2. Taking the ln of both sides gives us 4k is equal to ln of 2. To solve for k, we divide by 4. So k is equal to 1 fourth times ln of 2. Using p of 6, we are to solve for the initial population. So, 15,025 is equal to the initial population times E raised to the number of years, which is 6, times K, which is 1 fourth times ln of 2. Simplifying, we get 15,025 is equal to the initial population times E raised to 3 over 2 times the ln of 2. The initial population is equal to 15,025 divided by e raised to 3 over 2 times the ln of 2. So the initial population is equal to 15,025 divided by 2 raised to 3 halves which is approximately 5,312. Therefore, the initial population of the place is 5,312.